Ed Sheeran was born on the 17th of February 1991 from Pepton Bridge, Halifax, West Yorkshire. Then he moved to Suffolk whilst he was growing up. He started using a guitar by watching someone called Damien Rice perform live when he was 11 and started writing songs at 14. It took him a long time to be where he is at today, but it's all the hard work and determination he has done through the years. He released his first DP, the Orange Dream EP, when he was still in school, and I must admit his singing was dreadful, but he practiced for years and years, and practice does actually make perfect. At the age of 16, he moved out of his house and moved to London to do small circuit gigs, and he, and he only got a few quid for every night, and he slept on other people's sofas, and even on some nights he slept on the street, and even on the London Underground. In 2009, he released another EP called You Need Me, and that came out on the 2nd of November 2009. In 2010, Ed was on SBTV performing one of his songs, You Need Me, I Don't Need You, and it had millions of views on YouTube for that video, and he saved up enough money to get a flight to Los Angeles to get his music across the pond to America. He was doing small circuit gigs in LA, and a famous star in LA called Jamie Foxx saw him live and invited Ed into his mansion and he played a private gig for him and also he slept on the sofa. Also in 2010, he released two EPs, one called Songs I Wrote With Amy, which came out on the 4th of April 2010, and the second EP, which came out in 2010. Ed released the number 5 Collaborations Project EP on the 7th of January 2011 and it's with a mix of grime rap style to the album and collaborating with different rap artists and on one of the tracks he was doing a song with his cousin Devlin. The 18 was released on the 1st of May 2011 and this single got Ed to new heights and becoming one of the best songs of 2011. Ed's debut studio album Plus got released on the 9th of September 2011 and he sold just over a million copies of the album. Some big tracks on that album, like the 18, You Need Me I Don't Need You, Logo House, Drunk and Give Me Love. During 2011, he was doing his UK tour for Plus. And in 2012, he got two Brit Awards for British Male Solo Artist and for British Breakthrough Artist. And also in 2012 and 2013, he was doing his first world tour from his songs plus. Ed wrote a few songs for One Direction, like Little Things, Over Again, 18, and Moments. Ed collaborated with Taylor Swift, one of the biggest artists in the world, with the song Everything Has Changed on her Red album. Also, Ed was touring with Taylor and as her performing acts performing Everything Has Changed. Also in 2013, Ed did a hit song I see fire for the film The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. On the 21st of June 2014, Ed released his second studio album Multiply and included the hit singles like Sing, Don't, Thinking Out Loud, Bloodstream and Photograph. In 2015, Ed got two Brit Awards for British Male Solo Artist and British Album of the Year. Also, he was touring the duration of 2014 in 2015, with some of his songs from Multiply and a few of his songs from Plus. Also in 2015, Ed did three sold out shows at Wembley Stadium on the 10th, the 11th and on the 12th of July. In October 2015, the Wembley shows, what Ed did, it became a film called Jumpers for Goalposts. Also in 2015, Ed had written a song for Justin Bieber called Love Yourself and it was for Justin's album called Purpose. In 2016, Ed had won two Grammy Awards for Best Pop Song of the Year and another one for Song of the Year for the same song, Thinking Out Loud. Also in 2016, he had a year off by having a break because he had been producing and touring for years and also he wanted to travel the world not touring, and also write some new music. On the 6th of January 2017, after a year off music, he released two songs on the same day, Shape of You and Castle on the Hill. On the 3rd of March 2017, Ed had released his third studio album called Divide, and right now, he is currently on his Divide tour.
Do you like Ed Sheeran's music? Yes, I've been a fan of his music since from day one, his first album. And I like the fact that as it's gone on, it's just got better and better. More different songs, yeah. more poppy songs. Yeah, I love it. What is your favourite song by Ed Sheeran? The Shape of You. Because I like the way it's laid out and the song represents that in the music. When did, you f when did you first hear him? I was on my way to a steam girl at the North Yorkshire North Railway and I heard it in a car with my girl and I thought oh, that sounds pretty cool and the first song I heard was um, uh, it's a long long time ago now I can't remember the name of the first song but I just remember that specific day Do you like Ed Sheeran's music? Mm, I'm not a music fan per se but Ed Sheeran I do like his music too yeah. <laughs> what is your favourite song by Ed Sheeran? I would say Shape of You because it's the first song I heard of it. Yeah. When did you first hear him? Well, that college we was doing this music video for the yeah. side, which song to do the video to. Yeah. And the next one we had here was All I Don't Do is Shape of You, and that's when I first heard the song. Yeah, thank you for your time. All right.